Hey, Internet friend, Magic Brad here with Synergy Cafe and the Synergy Collaborative, and I'm here with my friend Dr. Derek again, and we're going to talk about some deep thought. <laughs> How's your day going so far? Oh, it's going excellent. Low, excellent. Got low a stress. Great workout in the gym this morning. I uh, came here and have been serving patients for the past four hours. I see you got your uh, pink shirt on for uh, Wellness Wednesday. That's right. <laughs> we got uh, um, we have our our breast cancer fundraiser that we're doing, and so. There's a quote from a line from a movie, which I haven't seen, but the, the girls in my office have where they always, they say, you know, on pink, we wear, or on Wednesday, we wear pink. And so they wanted to do that for the entire month of October. Every Wednesday, everyone in the office wears pink. So I would say breast cancer awareness or breast cancer uh, removal or something like that. Because yes. if you're doing yep. a fundraiser for breast cancer, we don't want breast cancer to yeah, win. Yeah, no, no, no. Yeah, it's a <laughs> fundraiser for the Jane Bratton Breast Center. Okay. Yes. And so we're raising funds for them so that they can help uh, different uh, people in, in multiple yes. areas to, you know, recognize and get, you know, get checked for breast cancer so that they can um, diagnose it properly and as soon as possible so that people don't, uh, um, you know, have the ill effects of that. Got it. I bring that up and it's, an, it's a good segue because of what, we, what I want to talk about is like the consciousness element of chiropractic. And yeah. if... Uh, if chiropractic goes that f into like the subconscious level of things, does it have an effect on that? Or is it really just more in the physiological end of things? No, I mean, it definitely goes into both subconscious and conscious. Uh, you know, your nervous system controls everything, even your brain. Your brain is part of that central nervous system. And so that's what, as we've talked about before, as, as the chiropractors, we are nervous system doctors, not just bone crackers. And that's what we're mostly focusing on is your nervous system and how your brain communicates with that. And so there's, there's a lot of those, uh, I mean, there's a lot of physiological effects that happen, but um, even from a receptor standpoint, the synapses between your nerves and how, in, how they go to those receptors and where they connect and how that stuff actually will, um, will affect people's pain levels, They'll affect their, their conscious mind and, and how they, they think about things cognitively. I mean, it, it's pretty amazing to hear the, the, the remarks and the comments from patients about, you know, how they talk about, you know, one is obviously they sleep better, you know, mm -hmm. when, they, when their nervous system is at, at, you know, less stressed out and it's at a little bit more ease. They're, la they're able to sleep longer and they're able to sleep harder and get into those deeper levels of REM sleep, which allows for your body to, to heal itself. It's pretty cool to, to see, you know, people who just, they come in and say, I just, the one thing I notice is I have more energy throughout the day. I don't have those, those ups and downs throughout my day um, of low energy versus high energy. So I want to interject a, a layperson's scenario and then you yeah. can work with it but would this be something like uh, as a child you were attacked by a dog so as you grew up you were afraid or afraid of dogs but you did do some uh, self-help and you got yourself through all that kind of stuff but maybe we missed a couple things and for some reason whenever you see a dog something happens but you don't you're not really conscious of it yeah is that something that chiropractic might help maybe because the, the your subconscious will tighten up some muscles that you might not even know about yeah I, I mean, I think the, from the chiropractic aspect of that, so, so stress affects your body in tons and tons of different ways. You know, from, from the psychological standpoint, I'm not sure chiropractic is going to be a huge help into like creating, you know, like, like a psychologist would where they like really dig down and figure out why you're having this fear of dogs or, or whatever it is. But anytime that you have that fear, stress is going to be you know, present in your body, which is going to release adrenaline into your system and then cortisol and those different things. Those are the types of things that chiropractic can really help. I mean, you know, from, from a stress level standpoint, your, your body responds to, to stress no matter what the stressor is. If it's physical stress, mental stress, emotional stress, all of those things, your body responds in the exact same pattern. And that's where people, you know, people talk about stress eating. Um, that's an actual physiological response that happens. And, you know, so the way that works is you imagine the fight or flight, you know, way that your body works. Mm -hmm. And, you know, if you're being attacked by, let's say, a bear and they're running, or a dog, like you, you use for example, you're being attacked by a dog, your body's going to go through two things. You're going to stand and you're going to fight that dog or you're going to turn around and you're going to run away. So when that adrenaline comes in, it shunts all the blood to your muscles and allows for your muscles to either run or to fight. 
And once that blood goes away and all the energy has been used, you know, then cortisol comes in and you have a couple different other hormones that come through that basically tell you like, hey, you need to replenish your energy and get your body back to, to replenish all the stuff that we use. Now, that's a great situation when you're being attacked by a dog. But most people in today's age, the stress that they live with is they're sitting at their computer. Their boss has a deadline for them to finish something. And so they still have that same physiological response. Right. And then all of a sudden, your body says, hey, you're hungry. You need to replenish all this energy that we just exerted. Well, you've just been sitting on your butt for the last four hours dealing with this. And so you don't actually need to eat, but yet you feel like you're hungry. Right. Okay. Well, you know, I was just thinking, like, I don't know if you're a spiritual, religious type person, but anybody that says oh, there yeah. isn't a God, uh, yeah. and, uh, the body is so complex with all that different stuff that it does. I was just thinking about that the other day of something as simple as walking, what yeah. your brain has to do to trigger all those muscles to make that leg move a certain way. It's pretty Absolutely. fascinating. and. Yeah. The, the nervous system has got all those little things going through there and they got to fire off at the certain times. And yes. if they're not, you got problems. Oh, yeah. Yeah, absolutely. I mean, it's a very, very complex thing. And then when you break it down, you can break it down and it ends up being very simple in the way that we think about things. But yeah, the complexity is pretty crazy. And, and the synapses that have to happen between your, your nerves and the receptors. We, I just hired a new um, rehab specialist who's doing phenomenal at our office, but I'm starting to teach her a lot of these different things from the nervous system and from the chiropractic side of things. So she can relay them onto our patients. And we talk about one of the biggest things when we're in school and they teach us about you know, how your, your brain communicates with the muscles and how quickly that stuff happens. You think about like, if you touch a hot stove, this is always the big, um, this is kind of the, the, the analogy a lot of teachers use with this, but you think about touching a hot stove like that and how much has to happen between the time when you, when you reach down and touch that stove and all of a sudden your brain, like your, your fingers, the receptors in your hands have to tell your brain, Hey, this is hot. So that message goes back up. And then the message from your brain has to take that input, say, yeah, that's hot. That's burning your fingers, sends the messages back down to the hand and into the muscles to get you to recoil and take your hand off it. Now, when you think of if you've ever touched a hot surface, it's like that. Your right. hand's off of it. You realize it. But all the stuff that has to go on in your body just within that little millisecond, I mean, it's pretty incredible. Exactly. It's almost yeah. as a... It, just as incredible as the internet being able to connect with somebody <laughs> on the other side of the planet. It's happening in real time. I know yeah. off track a little bit, but I got a friend over in the UK and him and I would talk and he would then like send me a message. And as we're talking, listening, I can hear him click the button, but it seems like it's there before he clicks the button. It's just yeah. so fast. Yeah. So yeah. our brains are working that fast. I mean, all these things I do with my hands and everything, it's, it's yeah. pretty fascinating. Absolutely. You talk about people who are just like, oh, I'm not good at multitasking. It's like, well, trust me, your body is multitasking and it's doing thousands and thousands of things at one moment when you don't even know about it. Exactly. Well, yeah. I like to, to keep these things short, like I mentioned before, Absolutely. and I will uh, now take this and beam it up, but I appreciate you spending the time to tell us about the nervous system. That's pretty fascinating that it does. it could have an effect on the sub, subconscious or beliefs Oh, absolutely. Yeah, definitely. Very cool. Okay, All Dr. Right. Derek, thanks again. We'll see you next week. Thank you. Have a good one. Peace. Bye.